So we're about to go and get some chest done today. Steve is eating his free training the Rice Krispies. Steve, baby, can you say why you're eating those? Because I don't want to inject insulin. It's for what? Spiking my insulin levels. So let's get this protein in my blood. And we already had our meal, our breakfast, actually. Pre and post carbs, man. Yep, that was the carbs. He ate his cream of rice with some egg whites. I had two slices of Ezekiel bread with some fat-free cheese because we don't want no fat in our system. My protein shake. Then I'm gonna get huge. And then we'll get at you and show you the hugeness after the workout. I'm stuffing my face. Since we're not really feeling it today, we're kind of keeping it lower weight and higher reps. Look at that, flat stomach. When was the last time you had a flat stomach? <laughs> when you married me, that fucking 16 years ago. Don't talk, just work out. <laughs> <laughs> Finished chest day and old bird is pooped. Yeah, now we're gonna go grocery shopping and buy get some macro friendly foods. And we gotta be quick too because we don't wanna miss our post workout window. Right. I gotta get some fucking oatmeal and some yogurt maybe or some shit like that. Get some quick carbs to get in our system after the workout. Because the carbs right now are going to bring the nutrition into the muscles and help them grow. So we got to get on that game. It's all about the macros, baby. And them games. Right. <laughs> Peace out. So he's stacking up on his yogurt. Yeah. He's getting uh, non-fat Greek yogurt. That's the other stuff, yes. So which one? Which one? Yep, that's the other stuff. Is it the same macros? Turn on the macros. What's the macros? 22 grams. Carbs are nine. I think that's the same. Carbs difference. are nine. Yep. Carbs should be nine. Fuck the carbs are nine. Per cup. Nine carbs per one cup. Zero fat. And this is the, uh, the peanut butter that we like for the healthy fats. And it's in the fridges. Some guacamole, some fiber one, mushrooms, non-stick, and some lean turkey. This you can hardly find the places. The 99% lean. It's so dry, but it's good hey, macros. And I'm working on my post-workout meal. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what I eat post-workout. Kind of an idea of why I do it. it. Seems to work real well for me, so I pretty much keep it simple and do the same thing every day pre and post. So I just do a whole tub of yogurt. Comes out to like four cups. My arms are shaking. Hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry and de depleted. Yeah. Kind of going to hypo after a heavy chest workout. A little bit. So I try to get some quick protein. They'll get inside the system pretty quick. Excuse me, it's taking me a while. I like to get every little bit out of it. Because I'm cheap. And eating bro gets kind of fucking expensive. But if you're trying to make them gains, money ain't a thing. You're gonna shorten spending somewhere else and spend it on yeah, food. Yeah, no more titty butter for me. <laughs> Had to hold back on that. Priorities, baby. Priorities. Anyway, so next, I put a little bit of dairy aid because sometimes I have a feeling dairy fucks with my stomach. So this right here helps out with that. Called dairy aid. 
I got a little shaking ready to eat. I'm shaking while I'm recording. And then I'm gonna use, I use a little bit of a cinnamon I add to it, which helps with insulin sensitivity, supposedly. But I do it anyways, it seems to work. I add a little bit of sweetener. Stevia or whatever. Splenda or whatever you have. Yeah, they say it's going to kill me or something like that, whatever. And then I add a scoop of whey protein. I've been using this Quest, trying this new shit out, see what I think of it. Usually we use MTS. This MTS shit. I shake it up, mix it up. I just want, I just want to show all the MTS tubs, man. Move, move, move yeah. the Quest stuff. The Quest is new. We just got it yesterday. We found it on sale. But look at all this stuff of the MTS. We have the kissing cream. We have the addictive red velvet. Yeah, I use the red velvet usually with this when I make this. And meal. over there is the pumpkin pie that we don't like. Yeah, yeah, that shit's nasty. We're gonna have to get through it because that's like I gotta five choke. pounds. Right, I gotta choke that garbage down. Anyway, I mix up the I mix up the protein in there, the sugar and everything else. Now what I do is I take a handful of blueberries, a little mix, drop that in there, mix that in, get a little bit of sugars natural sugars that way help bump all that protein in the body really quicker and then I use the end that I'm trying to put add a little bit more size I usually use two rice cakes but now I'm doing three and I'm kind of addicted with the rice cakes in here it's kind of like a cereal break that up this chocolate rice cake shit was actually pretty damn good. The apple cinnamon ones are good too, though. Not when you're all chocolated out like I am. Mm, no. I just bring that in there. And trust me, man, I can't wait to eat this shit. It's like the meal I look forward to. I usually take in all my carbs pre and post workout. Pre workout, I usually do some cream of rice and two cups of egg whites. Post, I do this, and the rest of the day I just eat protein only. I cut all my carbs after this is my last carb meal right here. We train early, so I usually wrap my carbs around the day where I mostly eat my uh, where we usually train. This is gonna be your last carbs. Yeah, this is the last carbs for the day. The rest of the day today I think I'm eating fish, tilapia, and yeah. salmon. Over there. I try to keep my fats really them. low. Actually, I try to keep my fats zero. Pre and post, being I'm trying to spike my insulin through the carbohydrates and trying to get the protein in. Last thing you want is a bunch of fats getting in there too. So I'll do that. If I do add fats, sometimes I'll add maybe a teaspoon of uh, almond butter or something like that. But other than that, this is basically it. And look how thick this shit is. It's not even falling off. That's my pudding. I do for my post-workout, I usually just take a shake. I use about four ounces of egg whites. I don't have enough here, so I just brought another one. And uh, I'm going to put about half a serving size of the berries, which is about 70 grams. And I'm going to use one scoop of protein. And that is the cookies and cream stuff. Okay, so now that I have everything in the cup, I got the berries, I got the egg whites, I put a little bit of unsweetened cashew milk too. This is all gonna go right in the blender. We're gonna add the protein. And then we blend. A few seconds of blending and look at that deliciousness. Now with this thing, at least I can move around because I have stuff to do around the house so I can at least cook and drink this at the same time and not miss my um, insulin spike and bringing the nutrients into my muscles so that's what it is folks for, for Steve for work today um, he's gonna eat some tilapia this is one pound of tilapia here and one pound of salmon patties over here all together two pounds of meat 
no veggies, none of that. Veggies started bloating him. He had a huge problem with gas, with the broccoli and all that stuff. So we are sticking with meat now. It's working for him. So the tilapia, the way I'm doing this is I put some Dijon mustard on it and just keeping it simple. Some black pepper, lemon, salt, and uh, I actually put a little bit of stevia on top too for the crispiness. And then I'm just going to put it in the oven on broil on high and um, get it done in 8 minutes. And then I'm just going to portion all this meat for him for work into 4 tubs for 4 meals. And that's all he's going to eat. No more carbs, no more fats, just protein. Hope this helps somebody. And uh, if you like the info that we're having, please subscribe and uh, share our videos. I do thank you so much.